next plant is Edgeworthia chrysantha paper bush. This is in the Thymelaceae. Don't forget that there is an extra couple of E's and A's in there. So it's not Thymelaceae, it's Thymelaceae. Okay? So, paper bush, I really like Edgeworthia. Okay, so this is a, uh, you'll note, this is an unpruned uh, shrub. And it has this very uniform branching. Okay? And the reason for that is, is actually at every, uh, uh, every time it terminates in a bud, it branches three times. So you'll note that there are three branches here, and then it comes up, and here's where it stopped last year. And then this year, it had three branches again. So that branching pattern is what allows us to have this really nice, compact, and uniformly branched uh, shrub. The leaves are quite attractive. They are uh, very narrowly elliptic with a strong attenuate base. That means it's a long tapering uh, base. Okay? It is a deciduous shrub, so, but it has very attractive foliage that have no real serious pest and disease problems uh, all during summertime. It's going to set some buds now, and then uh, in late winter, before the leaves emerge, it has this pendulous uh, head of flowers. It is quite fragrant, and they have a silky pubescence on them. And so if you actually lay down on the ground and look up at these flowers, or you can also hold up a branch, it'll have a silvery white and yellow uh, with this uh, very fragrant inflorescence. It is a little bit finicky uh, to grow, so it can be a, a, a little bit hard. Uh, it also can have some issues with cold damage. So uh, we lost plants back in the winter of 13, 14 when we reached four degrees Fahrenheit here on campus. So it's not the hardiest uh, or the um, uh, easiest to grow plant, but once established, it, it's fairly, um, uh, fairly um, uh, without major problems, we'll say. Okay? So uh, fragrant uh, winter flowering, uh, deciduous shrub with very good branching, uh, fits in nice in modern landscapes and is not a, a, a super popular plant, so it's still a little bit of a, um, a hard find depending on your location. That's Edgeworthia chrysantha.